In this video, you're going to learn how to do polynomial long division. We're going to go through three examples. I'll go through a couple together and then maybe the third one you can practice on your own. So I'm going to show you some different tips and techniques to make this a little bit easier. So let's dive in. The first example, it says x cubed plus 6x squared minus 8 is being divided by x plus 2. So the way that we set this up, since it's being divided by x plus 2, we're going to put the x plus 2 here in front of our division bar. Now you remember learning how to divide uh, just whole numbers before when you were earlier on in math. And so you're familiar with this basic setup. But what you want to pay attention to is if there's any missing terms. See how it jumps from x squared to the constant term? We're going to put a zero term in there, a placeholder. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. We've got x cubed plus 6x squared plus 0x minus 8. Now if there was two missing terms, we put two placeholders, two zeros. The reason we do this, it helps everything to kind of line up a little bit better. It's a little bit easier for most students. So now here's what we do. We say, how many times does this x, this first term here, go into this first term here? So how many times does x go into x cubed? Or another way to do it, and this is the way that I like to do it, I like to say, what times x equals x cubed? That's going to be x squared. So I'm going to put an x squared right here, and this is optional, but see how I'm lining the x squareds up? I just kind of like to keep everything organized. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take x squared times x, that comes out to x cubed. Also going to distribute x squared to the 2, that's 2x squared. I'm going to draw a line, and we're going to subtract. Now what some students like to do, and I like to do this as well, subtraction is the same as adding the opposite. So what you can do is you can change these signs here to the opposite and add straight down. So if we do that, see how the x cubes cancel one another out? 6x squared plus negative 2x squared is 4x squared. Just bring down the 0x and the negative 8. Okay, now we look at this first term again and we say how many times does x go into 4x squared? Or you can say what's 4x squared divided by x. Or you can do the way that I like to do it, which is to say what times x equals 4x squared. And in this case, it's going to be 4x. Now you know you have the right answer because when you distribute the 4x to both these terms, the first terms are going to match. So 4x times 1x is 4x squared. See how they match? So that when we subtract, that first term is canceling out each time. 4x times 2 is 8x. Remember, we're distributing. And now we're going to subtract. Now we can also use that technique that I mentioned where you can change the signs to the opposite and add. Oftentimes that's a little bit easier for students. And then this comes out to negative 8x minus 8. Again, we're trying to get this first term. So we say how many times does x go into negative 8x? Or what's negative 8x divided by x? Or my method, what times x equals negative 8x? That's just going to be negative 8. When I distribute the negative 8 to both of these terms here, we get negative 8x minus 16. We can subtract or change the signs to the opposite and add. So let's go ahead and do that. So that cancels out here, and you can see we're getting positive 8. Now notice that this is a constant, which is like 0th degree, whereas this is x to the first. This is first degree. When this degree is lower than this degree, that's our remainder. And what do we do with the remainder? We put the remainder over the divisor. So, and this represents your quotient, which means that's, that's your answer right there. Now, just to talk about the remainder for a minute. Say if you have 6 is going into, let's say, 20. Okay, it goes in there 3 times. 3 times 6 is 18. Now, notice 2 is less than 6. What do we do with the 2? We say, oh, that's 3 and 2, 6 which you can reduce the 2 6 down to 1 3rd. So it's always you put that remainder over the divisor, and that goes right there. So final answer. Let's look at number 2 now. We've got 4x to the 4th plus 2x cubed plus 8x minus 1. Notice we skip from x cubed to x to the 1st, so that's important. We'll have to put a placeholder there. And we're dividing by x squared minus 5. Notice here we're also missing a term. Okay, so we'll put a placeholder there. So the way I would set this up is whatever we're dividing by, that goes on the outside. So this is going to be x squared plus 0x minus 5. And then this is our 
uh, what's being divided. So the 4x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus 0x squared plus 8x minus 1. Okay, so how many times does x squared go into 4x to the fourth? Or what's 4x to the fourth divided by x squared? Or my technique, what times x squared equals 4x to the fourth? That's going to be 4x squared. So when I distribute, I get this first term, which is 4x to the fourth. 4x squared times 0x is just going to be 0x cubed. 4x squared times negative 5 is negative 20x squared. And now we can subtract or change the signs to the opposite and add. So that's the method I'm going to use. So these cancel out. This comes out to 2x cubed. This comes out to 20x squared. And we'll just bring down the 8x and the negative 1. Okay, so now we look at this first term again. We say, how many times does x squared go into 2x cubed? Or what's 2x cubed divided by x squared? Or my technique, what times x squared equals 2x cubed? That's going to be 2x. And if we distribute, we get... 2x cubed plus 0x squared minus 10x. Okay, so now we're going to subtract or we can change the signs to the opposite and add. So notice those first terms cancel out. We get 20x squared plus 18x minus 1. Again, we're trying to get this first term, right? The 20x squared. So how many times does x squared go into 20x squared? Or what's 20x squared divided by x squared? Or what times x squared equals 20x squared? That's the way I like to do it. That's going to be 20. So if I distribute the 20 to all these terms, I get 20x squared plus 0x uh, minus 100, right? Okay, now we're going to subtract, or we can change the signs to the opposite and add. Notice those first terms cancel. And we're left with 18x plus 99. Now notice uh, 18x is x to the first. This is x squared. When this degree is a lower degree than this, that's our remainder. And we put our remainder over our divisor. Now, when I write the final answer, let's go ahead and write what we have here. We've got 4x squared plus 2x plus 20 plus... 18x plus 99 over x squared minus 5. And that's your final answer. Let's take a look at one more example. See if you can practice this one on your own. Okay, pause the video and try this one. See what you get and we'll go through it together. Now we can see that this is being divided by x minus 4. So the x minus 4 goes in front here. And it's going into... 3x cubed plus 6x squared plus 0x, notice there's a missing term, minus 9. Okay, so how many times does x go into 3x cubed? Or what times x equals 3x cubed? That's going to be 3x squared. When I distribute the 3x squared, I get 3x cubed minus 12x squared. And when we subtract... We can change the signs to the opposite and add, and notice those first terms are canceling. So we get 18x squared plus 0x minus 9, just bringing these guys down. And now we're trying to get 18x squared. So what times x equals 18x squared? That's going to be 18x. And when we distribute, we get 18x squared um, minus 72x. Okay, and we're going to subtract, or we can change the signs to the opposite and add. Notice those first terms cancel. And now we're trying to get 72x. So remember, you can say, how many times does x go into 72? Or what times x equals 72x? Let's see, I'll do it that way. So that's 72. And if I distribute, I get 72x minus, what's 72 times 4? Let's see. That's 288. So that's... Uh, 288, and then we can subtract or change the signs to the opposite and add. Notice those first terms cancel, and this gives us 279. Now notice this degree is a constant, it's zeroth degree. This is first degree, 
So this is going to be our remainder. So we'll say plus 279 over x minus 4. Now, if this came out to a negative 279, you could write minus 279 over x minus 4. You want to be careful, though, if, say if this was like 279 and there was like another term here, let's say there was two terms. In that case, I wouldn't use a minus sign. I would just say plus, and then I'd have the remainder over the divisor. So in general, I usually just put plus whatever the remainder is over the divisor. But if it's just one term, like a constant like that, and it's, if it's negative, you could just write minus. So that's our final answer. Now, the next step after polynomial long division is to learn how to do synthetic division. I'll put a video right there where I talk about how to do synthetic division. It's a little bit of a shortcut, a quicker way of doing it that you can use in certain situations. So follow me over to that video and let's dive into synthetic division.